so. All right, that's good. That's not bad. Wrong side. Uh, wrong side, yes, for sure. It has to go diagonal into the service box on the other side. Oh, that's beautiful. That's amazing. Hey, I don't have to teach you anything, and you you can serve already. <laughs> Not good enough. That's good. Go one more. Go one more. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. So now, when you ask at the beginning if it matters when we side, so for the lefty, ideally it's easier once you serve from the um juice side of the court because you got the wide court open there as you serve diagonal so when you serve you always have to serve diagonal into the service box right so for the lift is it's it's an advantage serving on the deuce side uh, because you can serve out wide and you can push your opponent out wide to the right side of the court assuming your opponent is right-handed and then it gives you the other side uh the other half of the court open uh, to hit the winner now, once you're on the advantage court, advantage side of the court for a lefty, now you will have to have some torque, some more rotation, uh, because you have to go to uh, the other side, so the ad side of the court, okay? So diagonal to the other side. So it has to have, it have to happen, not only coiling and uncoiling here, uh, but you have to get more torque, more rotation. Okay, so today let's have you serving from the um, due side of the court as a couple of things on the serve. All right, we won't go into details, right? So not too much as this is a, a beginner's demonstration lesson. So um, I'll have you one couple of things, the grip. So have continental grip or hammer. So you want knocker from the index finger placed on bevel two right to your left as you hold the racket now bolt us so we got the grip ready uh, make sure your left hand is slided all the way down close to the butt cap yeah right there that's about right now as you have the bolt us at 12 o'clock up here i'll have you starting first with the racket into the trophy pose or salute position up here and as you toss you'll be dropping the racket behind you and then driving up at a contact point and follow through over your right, shot, right side of the body, right? So you can bring your left foot around, right? So as you go into the trophy pose or salute position up here, bolt us 12 o'clock, you'll be dropping the tee behind you, right? And accelerate through the contact point, make sure you get contact point all the way up there and follow through, okay? All right. All right, you got it, Ali. Okay, so it starts here? Yeah. Ball toss, 12 o'clock. That's cool. Let's try again. So here. Yes. Right. Up, toss. That's great. So now I'll have you staying more side on with your hips and shoulders pointed towards um, diagonal. So we want to go to diagonal, the other half, the service box, okay? We don't want to go square or straight forward. All right. So stay side on. Ball toss 12 o'clock. That's very good, all right? Let's try again. Very nice. All right, let's start with, so on the grip, let's make sure that we have continental grip there. Shift your left hand a bit to your left, I'm sorry, to your right. Yes. It feels weird. It feels weird, right? Um, I'll have you tossing the ball higher. That was a very low toss. That's very nice. Now extend the arm. So as you start with a salute position, 
ball cast over clock. As you toss, the tip of the racket will be dropping behind you. And as you drive up to the contact point, we'll have you extending your left arm, right? So fully extended at the contact point. You want to reach for that ball. That's the goal. The goal is for you to reach through that contact point and then to go into the follow through. Yes. That's very good. Amazing serve. I just feel stuck. You feel stuck? stuck when I hit it. Okay. You know? Yes. You can bring your, <laughs> so after the contact point up here, right, you can bring your left foot coming around. Yes. Yes. Let's try that. You got it. It's very good. It's a good serve. Let's try again. How was the toss? Not high enough. Not high enough, yes. Let's get the toss higher. But then I can't reach it. You can. <laughs> That's very good. That's a very good serve. So the goal is, the idea is as you get the ball toss at 12 o'clock, as you start with a salute position or trophy pose up here, you want to drop the tee behind you and then reach for it. So reach, reach with the racket to the contact point. Yeah, you want to make sure that you reach for it instead of waiting for the ball to come to you. Yeah, up, reach for it. That's very good. Now let's stay a bit more side down with your hips and shoulders, more perpendicular with the net there. Ah, too far back. Yes, the toss <laughs> was too far back. So you want to make sure that the ball toss is in front of you, so inside the court. That's great. Let's try that again. Have your left elbow out and away up here. Yeah, there you go. That's a good one. All right, let's get it. So let's have a challenge. The last two serves, let's get them in the service box. All right, let's see. Okay, here. Left elbow, yes, ball toss, 12 o'clock, and reach for it. That's good, that's okay. All right, last one. Now, here's as an idea. The way we want to position our right foot. So we want to make sure we don't step on the baseline as that's considered a foot fault. So we want to be with the right foot an inch or two behind the baseline as we serve, right? So a f um, an inch or two behind the baseline, ball toss 12 o'clock, start with a trophy pose up here. Um, so ball toss 12 o'clock in front of you. As you drop the tip, then you're going to accelerate through contact. So reach for that contact point. And after contact, you can bring your left foot around. All it's right. Easy to do, but then when you it's easy said and done, it's yes. Hard. Uh, you got it, Ali. To think about. All right, match okay. point for you. Okay. Let's get it in. All right. That's okay. Let's try that again. All right, here you go. These are the ones. All right. These are the winners. These are the winners. Okay. All right, so focus on the ball toss. That's great. It's over the net. Now, yes, it's in the wrong box. All right, let's get it diagonal. So stay sideways with your hips as much as you can. The ball toss was a below. You want to toss it slightly higher and reach for it. Keep your left elbow slightly out and away up here. So as you drop, you're going to reach up for it. <clears throat> ball toss at 12 o'clock. That ball toss was more far sideways. All right, so let's get it out in front of you there. 
that's a very good reach. Now let's get it into the right side, into the left side box, right? So stay sideways a bit. Now positioning on your feet, you can take a few steps back. So you can have, instead of having both feet sideways or parallel with the baseline, have more of the left toes, more at the level of the uh, right foot heel up here, right? So line there. So in this way you have some shifting of the body weight, right? So you rock your hips, you transfer your body weight from the back foot into the front foot, into the contact point. Like this? Yes. Okay. Five, 12 o'clock volt toss. So here or here? Let's go 12 o'clock. Yes. That's great. Now keep your hips sideways. Right, you can move somewhere over here, it's fine. Left arm up and up and boom. It's in, racket tap. And up in a high five <laughs> note. You won, very good.